What's up, boxing fans? This is the Rope and Dope Report. I got another prediction segment today. This one is Corey Spinks versus DeAndre Lattimore. Um, let's talk about Lattimore. Um, you know, I, I'll be honest with you. I haven't seen him fight a lot. If you look at his record, he hasn't really fought in a lot of uh, a lot of good fighters. You know, pretty weak. Uh, I did see him. Um, in his last fight, I believe it was his last fight on ESPN2, Friday Night Fights against Powell. Thought he fought good. Um, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna act like I know him a lot. You know, uh, seems like he's a good puncher. Um, got some pop. I don't know how much power he has because it's tough to see exactly how much power a guy has when he's fighting guys with records of, you know, six and nineteen or something like that. I'm not saying the exact record, but. You know, looking through his record, he hasn't fought in a lot of guys. I think Ian Gardner was the, I saw a highlight of that. I believe, let me make sure that's right. Ian Gardner, that's his one loss. Um, he's rattled off several wins in a row. Um, he did look good on ESPN, uh, Friday Night Fights. Um, pretty good hand speed. Like I said, could punch. Um, fun guy to watch. Uh, it's just the quality of opposition, and that's why, let's go to Spinks now. Spinks, um, a boxer. Uh, the only thing with Spinks is, you know, he's a good fighter. He's been in there with a lot of talent, um, and he's given people run for their money. He even uh, fought Taylor very admirably, I thought, considering he was at 160. I thought he fought him pretty solid. Um, and uh, so he, he's a good, good, solid boxer. He's got a lot of good skills. He's not, he doesn't have a lot of power, but he's, he's fought good opposition, and he's definitely... A good boxer. The only thing with Spinks is you never quite know which Spinks you're going to get. Um, so I don't know. I, he beats Zab Judah, and then he gets knocked out by him. You know, it, it's just kind of, he, he gives, I'm not saying he doesn't give effort, but uh, sometimes he gives a stale performance. And this is actually in his hometown in St. Louis, so it should be a good crowd. I believe it's on Showtime. It's coming up very soon, I believe. I forgot the date because I just heard about this fight. Actually, someone uh, commented. Um to me and then sent a message telling me to do this, so I thought it was a good idea to do it. Um, and it was a good call um, from one of my subscribers. So I'm going to go with Spinks. Um, I believe that he will outbox him, I think, like I said, the quality of fighter that DeAndre Lattimore has fought has not been up there. He did beat Powell, and he looked good there, so I think it would be a good fight. Um, so I think it would be a good fight, but I do see Spinks winning in a decision. Um... I'm not going to sit there and talk about Lattimore much more because I really don't know a lot about him. But I have seen Spinks plenty of times, and I think he'll box his way to a decision. And uh, should be a pretty, you know, pretty tight fight. I don't think it'll be that boring at all. You know, I think it'll be okay. Sometimes Spinks is a boxer, and uh, I've talked about this before. Sometimes people don't appreciate boxing boxers. You know, I call fighter, I call boxers fighters. There's a fighter and there's a boxer. And sometimes people on my comments get that confused and I have to explain how I say stuff, you know. It's the same with the way I judge a fight. I'm a guy that, I do the Teddy Atlas judging. If nothing happened, if a guy landed seven punches and the other guy landed six, that's a 9-9 round to me. If a guy lands 22, the other guy lands 26, or even lands like 10 more but they're both in the 20s or, you know, 30s, then it might be a tie round if that guy, you know, even if he landed maybe nine more punches, if that guy got a better shot in, then that's a tie, tied round. So, you know, I, I like a lot of different type of stuff. I'm a little different type of a boxing fan. I like all sorts of fighters. I like brawlers. I like boxers. I like puncher, boxers, boxer, punchers. I like them all. So, uh, you know, just so you know, if I ever say in a video, you know, if I say, he's, you know, he's not a good boxer, I don't mean as a fighter, you know. Um, fighting somebody. He's a good fighter. He just can't box. Anyway, I'll shut up. Corey Spinks in a decision. Uh, this has been another episode, prediction episode of the Rope and Dope Report. I'm your host, Chris Carlson. Peace.